Now, there was a wonderful song that was taught to us called Waltzing Matilda, one of my favorites, one of my big favorites. And um, the thing about Waltzing Matilda is that if you're a Yank, you probably have not a clue what is being sung in this song. Because you're, you're hearing... Once a jolly swagman camped by a billabong Under the shade of a coolabar tree And he sang as he watched and waited till his billy boiled You'll come a-waltzing Matilda with me What in the hell does this all mean? Well, let's just take it apart. I'll do a little breakdown for you. Swagman is an itinerant laborer who walks around the countryside, mostly the outback, looking for work. He's a traveler. And his swag is kind of a bedroll that he that he, he bundles his belongings into, a swag. Now a hobo had a bindle uh, had a bindle. He carried his bindle the same way that a swag man carried his swag. Hobos were gentlemen of the road. In the 1930s and 40s, some by choice, some not. And um, they carried a bindle, and they, they were uh, usually what happened is a hobo encampment, hobo camp, would be invaded by a couple of bad people, one of whom was known as a bindle staff. A bindle staff was somebody who would steal your bindle in the night and run off with it. The little belongings, the few belongings you had. A hobo was not a bum. And a hobo, you know, he wouldn't beg for money or for food. A hobo insisted on working for whatever he got, food or a little money. And a waltzing Matilda is to just travel around with a swag on your back. And that's all it means. You'll come a waltzing Matilda. And uh, probably that is from some influence, uh, the word waltz, uh, dancing and so forth. And then there's a billabong. He, he, he's uh, he's uh, singing. He's under, a, under the shade of a coolabong tree. A coolabong tree is... Uh, Kind of a eucalyptus tree goes grows uh, near the billabongs. Uh, all a billabong is is actually an oxbow lake or a cut off river bend. Uh, it's usually found around uh, in a meandering river. It's that kind of really uh, wide, sh you know, kind of curvy bend in a, in a river. And uh, a jumbuck is usually a wild sheep with kind of gnarly gnarly um, um, stuff <laughs> wool uh, that that probably was never sheared so if it's if it's a if it's a jumbuck it's not likely that somebody would have really owned it a billy is a can you use to boil water a tucker bag you carry your food in troopers are coppers and a squatter is somebody who doesn't own the property that they work so that's the, the words that are used in this song. And uh, the song was written in 1895 by Banjo Peterson, who was a very famous Australian poet. It's often thought to be the, the official Australian national anthem, but it isn't. And um, uh, there's a melody called, there's a song called Go to the Devil and Shake Yourself, composed by John Field, about 17, oh gosh, about 1800s, -ish, something like that. And that's actually the basis of this song. Peterson just adapted the song, like I told you. That's how that works. And um, uh, at this time, it was, when, when Peterson wrote this, it was a hanging offense to steal somebody's sheep. But uh, this was a wild sheep that had been uh, captured. Once a jolly swagman camped by a billabong 
under the shade of a kulaba tree. And he sang as he watched and waited till his billy boiled. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda, you'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. And he sang as he watched and waited till his billy boiled. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Down came a jumbuck to drink at the billabong. Up jumped the swagman and grabbed him with glee. And he sang as he shoved that jumbuck in his tucker bag. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Up rode the squatter mounted on his thoroughbred. Down came the troopers, one, two, three. Where's that jolly jumbuck you've got in your tucker bag? You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Well, up jumped the swagman and sprang into the billabong. You'll never catch me alive, said he. Yes, he said, you'll never catch me alive, said he. And his ghost may be heard as you pass by that billabong. You'll come a-waltzing Matilda with me. Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda. You'll come a-waltzing Matilda with me. And his ghost may be heard as you pass by that billabong. You'll come a-waltzing Matilda with me. So now you know what it's about and you know where it came from. And it's a folk song written by the folk. Peace be with you.